9 gram hobby servos, like this HXT900 from HobbyKing.com, are incredibly cheap. They only cost about $3, and yet they're pretty fast, they're very strong, and they're not too bad in terms of accuracy either. The main problem with these little servos is that the gears can strip pretty easily, in particular, one gear. Because it seems to always be the same gear that strips out, I can't combine two different broken servos to make a new one, because they're both missing the same piece. So I have a whole bunch of servos lying around that are more or less useless. I have all these teeny motors in nearly complete gearboxes, so surely I can do something with them. I started by removing the four screws in the bottom and opening up the case. On the top you have the gearbox, and on the bottom all the electronics that allow the servo to servo. I'm looking to convert this servo into a little DC motor, so I cut out all the electronics that I didn't need. Now we're left with a small DC motor on the right and a potentiometer on the left. Two of the gears inside the servo sit on the shaft potentiometer. This is fine for a normal servo, but for our purposes this is a little problematic, because the potentiometer only turns 180 degrees. We can't just toss the potentiometer because we need the shaft for those two gears. To solve this issue, I pulled the pot out of the servo and started by removing the little metal plate on top of it. We can now clearly see the wiper which engages that black resistive material as it turns along. At this point we still don't have continuous rotation because the wiper is stopped by the pins at the end of the resistive material. I use some tweezers to gently lift the wiper off the resistive track, checking to see if it would spin all the way around. Now to put everything back together. We need to put some glue between those two gears on the pot shaft because I removed the gear that would have normally driven the two together. For this, I used some CA, also known as super glue. Looking at the bottom of the case again, we can ignore all the wires attached to the potentiometer. We only need the two that are attached to the motor. I made two of these little geared motors and then I tested it with a one cell lithium polymer battery. It spins pretty fast even on the 3.7 volts from this battery. It also seems to have some real strength behind it too. I extended the wires from the motor and closed up the case. The end result is a small motor, which has much more torque than these standard motors and doesn't spin so uselessly fast. I made two of these motors and some wheels to go with them by super gluing the hub of a servo arm onto a Lego wheel. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Raptor Tech to find out what I have in mind for these two motors.